I would rather back address that in the draft. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather have a backup quarterback that can groom and to hopefully becoming a starter. Yeah. Jimmy G was that. You know, I mean, there's been tons of scenarios like that. Tom Brady was that. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's, he was expected to be that, but he became for that. sure. But yeah. I'm saying that that's the type of like backup quarterback I want. I want to draft one and groom him to hopefully be a starter. Yeah. Nate Sudfield. I mean. He is what he is. I, like I said, I'd rather have David Blau, honestly. Career stats for Nate Sudfield. 25-37 for 67% completion percentage. Career total of a whopping 188 yards. <laughs> one touchdown and one interception. So like you said, we brought in Tim Boyle. Tim Blau. We brought in David Boyle. <laughs> we brought in this guy. Yep. But in the preseason this year, you know, he pretty much... He exceeded his career totals. He went 26 for 38 instead of 25 for 37, oh, wow. baby. He had, <laughs> he had 254 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. Like, the guy's balling. Now, it's, yeah, uh, this this doesn't do anything for me. It's, it's bad. We expected an upgrade, and we just brought in, like, the Wish version. <laughs> like it's like you order something, you order Tim Boyle off Wish, Literally and you David get Nate Boyle. Sunfield. Yeah, they, I feel like they just like push Tim Boyle into like a cloning machine, and we're just like, <laughs> out pops Nate, <laughs> out pops Nate Sunfield. He's like, yes, I am here to win this position. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty bad. I don't. I think the guy sucks. It's solid stats. Yeah, not Lions Rumble, roaring in Vegas. I don't know about that one. <laughs> it's it's tough. It's to, tough. And to the backup quarterback uh, position like in, in itself real quick, I want to remind everyone, too, Dallas Cowboys, official 53-man roster, guess how many backup quarterbacks they had? Zilch. Not Zilch. a goddamn one. The yeah. Bengals ended up doing the same thing. Obviously, they're addressing that at some point. But I'm just, it's just not a big deal, guys. It's a backup quarterback. I could give a shit less. Do I think Nuts, Nuts Sudfield, <laughs> Nate Sudfield's a, a good pickup or one that I'm proud of or anything like that? Hell no. Hell, Hell no. no. But I'm not stressing myself out about it. I'm not giving a lovely motherfucker. I'm just not. Yeah. I don't care. If we're if we're like if we're competing, you know what I'm saying we have a chance to win something, then I'm bitching about it. That's when I'm throwing a fit. Yeah. A hundred percent. The Tim Boyle thing. I was just sick of seeing him fucking play football in the Detroit Lions. You know, I was, I was just pissed that that guy had a fucking job. Like, put me, give me a shot. Yeah. yeah. If that's what you're fucking dealing with, I get he had a rocket arm, but he has zero accuracy. It was wild. They're paying one million dollars less for David Sut- or Nate Sutfield. <laughs> David Boyle. David Boyle. Boyle. David Boyle. Tim than, they, than they were for Tim and David combined. <laughs> so Tim and David were about cost you about three M's. He's going to cost you about two. Although you did have to pay, you know, one point seven five million to cut Tim Boyle. Yeah. So, right. so you had your hand up. Yeah. What were you about to say? I just wanted to say that for the people that do care, because I don't care. I'm with I'm with you guys. I Super think this fair. is irrelevant. But for the people that do care, is there anybody out there that you would have liked to have seen them pick up that would have got you excited? Other than Cam Newton was yeah, the one I, that I'm, like. Not excited. I don't want to say excited because, like Easy said, the backup quarterback spot is not something you really, you rarely get excited about. It's not something you're clamoring to see. Although Lions fans do, Lions fans love them some backups. But I would have rather see them get one of those younger guys like Ian Book or um, Carson Strong. Carson Strong, one of those guys that you can you don't know yet. Their a career, guy you can groom into a starter. Yeah, the career yeah. hasn't it hasn't been written yet, and. And they sold us on the, you know, we're getting a better guy. We're improving here. We're, we're going to make this position better. And then they pump out David Blo- or David Boyle. That's a pretty good impression, by the way. Thanks. Of who? Is that Dan Campbell's voice? Uh, something like that. Hey, brother, you know, <laughs> we're getting something real here. We're building this. I just need you guys to believe in me. But it's... And then they give us, they give us David Boyle. And, and that kind of pisses me off. I'm not going to lie. It's because he's... We know what he is. We know what he is. He like if you look up Nate Sudfield, I gotta check his name every time. <laughs> Nate Sudfield highlights. The first thing is like Easy said, his fucking low lights. Yes. It is literally, literally Nate Sudfield proving he needs a chance. Two point four QBR. It, it, it's bad. It's it's real bad. Mm, it's real bad. <laughs> you know, real bad. Okay. Drugs are bad, <laughs> and I just—I'm so upset about it. Like, I, I'm not—I'm not burning down Hot Topic about it, but like, it's 
It's just they, they promised us it would get better. We're going to make an improvement because David Blau and Tim Boyle were garbo. Mm-hmm. And they brought in Tim Boyle 2.0. Yeah. They brought in, you know, like Superman ripped his shirt and it was Superman underneath it. And I just, uh, 